The last Quackity Law stream was about five months ago, which is why when Quackity tweeted out on his private Twitter account Law, it made Twitter go wild, and people are excited for this. But there is a few issues, such as Quackity being locked out of his Minecraft account. So let's get into everything. In the last Law stream that Quackity did five months ago, we saw Purpled kill Slimesicle. We also saw an argument between Quackity and Carl, and that whole stream was counted as the season finale and the end of that act, which means whenever Quackity goes on to do this next law stream, it is possibly the start of a new act, and we can see some very new things from this. Not only that, but recently in a stream that Tommy Init did, he mentioned that he will be doing law soon, but it might not be from his point of view. Law? Yes. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to talk about it, but yes. I'm not sure if it's on my channel. I don't think it is, but there will be law soon. So that is exciting. Yeah, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty, so I'm reading the chat now, I'm like... Which made the community spark up a bunch of ideas, and with these Quackity tweets, if you put the two together, it seems likely that the next stream that Quackity does may involve Tommy as well. And somebody else I'd like to see in a Quackity Law stream is Dream. Now, last time we've seen Dream in Law, I believe, was his Dream XD video, and since then, he's kind of been quiet. Which makes me think that because of the production value of that video, and with Quackity's Law stream's production value, that these two may in to link at some point, and we may get to see a whole cinematic of Dream testing out the revival book and maybe Quackity coming across this. That could then lead to Tommy in it being involved in some sort of way, leading towards maybe the final act of this whole disc Tommy in it versus Dream saga. It's obviously quite a reach, and I don't have confirmation that this is even going to happen in Quackity's law, as Quackity's law should stick around him and the people he meets quite often. And I feel like if it's going to be the end between Dream versus Tommy, then they're going to do on Tommy's channel and as he said he doesn't think it's going to be on his Twitch channel but I feel like with the Dream XD video it is a setup for something that may happen in a big law stream such as Quackity's but I do want to talk about Wilbur's most recent law streams and how they may interlink with Quackity now Wilbur at the moment is going around on the server and apologizing to many people these being Eric, Fundy and he is planning on apologizing to Nikki now I will have a video eventually out going over all of these apologies once he's done them all but what happens if he decides to apologize to Quackity, and that gets put into this law stream. I believe that Wilbur is working on his sort of final act for his whole law and his story, so a big send off in maybe a Quackity stream where he potentially dies for the final time. I don't know whether they would ever do that. I think the guys died a few too many times, but maybe they visit Limbo and they see Ghost Burn there, or some sort of final ending. It could all lead up in this stream. And again, as I've said before with the whole Tommy in it versus Dream thing, I assume that Wilbur will want to do that on his channel. So no promises, I'm just making theories and guesses. But there's something I mentioned at the start of this video, which was Quackity has been locked out of his Minecraft account which is quite big, especially seeing as the law is in Minecraft. On one of Foolish's streams where they're practicing for MCC, Quackity in the background says that he doesn't have access to his Minecraft account for 30 days and he's been locked out. He doesn't know why he's been locked out or anything like that. It just means he can't log into this account. Yeah, I don't have access to my Minecraft account. I wanted to bring some account. energy to it. Oh, I messed up. I don't you have don't? I my Minecraft account for 30 days. <laughs> what? What did no you do? Way. I have no fucking idea. What were you doing? I don't even know like what the problem oh would be. Oh my god, what? I'm fucked. All right, not it. May and that's not even confirmed. I might not even get it in 30 days. What did you? Oh what did you god. do? What did you do? I don't fucking know. What was the determining factor right whether or not you got it in 30 days or not? This is this is fucked up. This is fucked up. I don't I don't I don't like what the fuck but the bright side of this is that Quackity's law is not done live, which means he doesn't need the account for these streams and could technically do it on an alt account or he's already recorded everything and has just been spending the past few months or weeks editing it all up so it's fully produced how it normally is. And I believe during the Foolish stream as well, Quackity made a new account named Kyle HQ. So you know, he could always do the stream on there. It is quite scary to think though that your account just gets randomly locked and I'm going to assume that maybe somebody tries to hack in to his account and as a protective measure Microsoft just locked it or Quackity is hacking on every single server ever and he's, he's just a bad guy. <laughs> With that being said though check out this video which is on screen right now you'll enjoy it. 